Międzynarodowej Federacji Samorządów Regionalnych Izraela. Proszę bardzo, Pani Dyrektor. Prime Minister of the State of Israel, and whose identity, culture, and mentality were designed and nurtured by his native Plonsk, said that he who does not believe in miracles is unrealistic. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to first salute you for your 100-year anniversary of independence of Poland. It is not less than a miracle that after all which the Polish people have endured, you have created a vibrant, energetic, forward-looking country, which is ambitious and humble at the same time. I am Ruth Wasserman Lande, Deputy Director General of the Federation of All Local Authorities in Israel, which encompasses all of the local governments throughout the country small and large, Jewish and Arab, central and peripheral. This organization is a non-governmental one, which exists a decade longer than the State of Israel itself and represents all of our mayors. In fact, the mayors in our country are the only directly elected politicians. Therefore, they are the real representatives of what we call the Israeli street. As such, our connection to them, a very close and personal connection, is a true added value for anybody, whether private or public, who wishes to cooperate with the Israeli local governments. Our organization is not for profit and it is not political. Its only objective is the well-being of the local governments in our country. For example, a small Bedouin Muslim town in the south of my country will be served by my organization in exactly the same manner as a very big city, in our terms, Tel Aviv, in the center of Israel. You know, mayors, as you all know, are naturally politicians. But we have all of them, from the far left to the far right, and therefore, this is an apolitical organization. This is very unique, and we are very proud of it. I would also like to take this opportunity to introduce to you Ms. Anat Kaufman, Projects Manager, who is working with me in the Federation, and who is in charge of the Polish portfolio. Formerly, I served as the advisor of the late President Shimon Peres, or Persky, as you may know, came to pre-state Israel from Vishniewo, Poland. Peres, my teacher and my mentor, not only believed in miracles, but he was the type of person who actually made them happen. At the time, at the same time that you are celebrating Poland's 100-year anniversary of independence. You know, we celebrate Israel's 70-year anniversary. God knows that our existence and prosperity is nothing less than a miracle too. Given the many hardships which Israel and the Israeli people have also endured, much emphasis was placed on development, growth, innovation, and the encouragement of entrepreneurship. Thus, we developed a hunger for knowledge, development, and innovation. This hunger is our driving force. As the British philosopher Francis Bacon said, knowledge is power. It is the fire which feeds our existence. 
and we wish to share this knowledge with our Polish friends. But we also wish to learn from you. We wish to learn from the Polish example. At this given moment in time, in which Polish towns and cities have their municipal elections on October 21st, Israeli towns and cities will have their municipal elections just a few days later on October 30th. Following these elections, and after we all calm down from the craziness, we will have the pleasure to invite you and all of your organizations to an important and very relevant municipal innovation conference, the Muni Expo and the Muni World. It will be in Tel Aviv on February 26 to 28, 2019. We will take you, our guests, to out-of-the-box innovative projects in different cities in Israel, such as Tel Aviv, Nazareth, Haifa, and more. We will also showcase best practices and models of success in an exhibition dealing with municipal innovation with significant companies, for example, Cisco, which deals with digitalization, and others. Simultaneously, we will have a conference on municipal innovation in general and urban security in particular. And that is in collaboration with the United Nations Committee on Counterterrorism. Our entire focus will be on cities and municipalities. We will have top of the line speakers from Israel and abroad. This conference will allow for networking with all the local governments in Israel and of course representatives from the international arena. We will have the mayors of Miami, Chicago, Frankfurt and more. We came to your distinguished event, ladies and gentlemen, especially to encourage the Polish presence. We wish our people to feel, touch, and understand the Polish soul. And what better way than via mutually beneficial cooperation for both sides. For this purpose, we are honored to work together with this chamber and particularly with Mr. Tomas. Tomas, I practiced your family name all morning and I cannot say it. Please forgive me. And Mr. Marek Kobiec, <laughs> who are undoubtedly both professional and dedicated to making this relationship a wonderful, beneficial, and vibrant one. I wish to part from you with a very intelligent yet very simple quote by someone I believe all of us know, Albert Einstein. He said, stay away from negative people. They find a problem for every solution. We believe in focusing on the solutions, not the problems. Shalom. Dziękujemy Pani Dyrektor za wystąpienie. Dziękujemy. Obecnie proszę o wystąpienie Pana Profesora Doktora Habilitowanego Jana Malickiego, który reprezentuje Zakład Historii Literatury Średniowiecza i Renesansu, Wydział Filologiczny Uniwersytetu 